But hey, man, Giannis, the coach killer is here. Giannis has arrived, Mr. If I don't like you, you got to go. He's on his third coach in nine months. Let me repeat. Giannis Antetokounmpo is on his third coach in nine months. Adrian Griffin out, um, advisor to the team. Doc Rivers is in. <laughs> You're a dickhead, too, for throwing that out there. I mean, he was consulting the team. He was. And, we he, consult. and he consulted himself into a job. Do you think that this was set up? And if so, the real question is, what took them so long to just do this? Why didn't they just do it from the get-go? Because uh, because you got to be honest, this was a head-scratcher of a hire to begin with. Look at the timeline of it. They fired Bud. Adrian Griffin was on the Raptors staff where Nick Nurse got fired. But you didn't want Nick Nurse. They didn't promote him to even be the head coach of the team. So it's not like there was this, like, oh, this is like a bright assistant that, um, you know, we we want in, right? It wasn't one of those situations. And so, um, you know, and maybe this is just the new age NBA firing guys into their first season. Maybe it's just the, the sports in general. Tepper did it in Carolina, right? Like, like Tepper's maybe not, Tepper's not good. Like you're, you're like, man, fuck it. I'm a billionaire. What is this? Like, I don't care. Yeah, bro. I already committed to pay you anyways. I don't even care to see it. I've seen enough. I have the money. Fuck you. Like type shit. Like, and that's what it is, man. And also I think that the team, obviously there's a disconnect with the team. You've heard some people uh, in NBA circles say not a shocker here. Yeah. So that tells you something. Gilbert arena said, Hey man, this isn't a basketball thing. This isn't, it's bigger than basketball. The Terry Stotts leaving the team uh, to start the season was definitely a – okay, this is kind of weird. Yeah. This is supposed to be your lead assistant, the guy who – Well, Dan's comfortable before. with, too. It's like a – Yeah, and Giannis had a quote to say, hey, the front office's job is to create the best team possible and the best atmosphere around the team possible. What they believe gives us a better chance – to win a championship. But yeah, I do think firing Coach Griffin was a surprise. He went on to talk about how he loves Coach Griffin, how he invited him to his wedding. And all I can take away from that is, hey, Giannis, welcome to the Superstar Club. You've now got your platinum card. You are an official coach killer. Official, huh? He's official. He's joined Michael Jordan. He's joined LeBron oh, James. He's joined Kobe. He's joined Magic Johnson. He's joined the Rudy Kobe kill, man. Rudy Tom Donovich. Rudy Tom Jonovich. He Rudy, killed. Rudy fucking had cancer. He he killed. He killed Phil, but they brought him back to life like he was Lazarus. Um, you know, <sighs> it, it, it's not a knock on the players themselves, because at the end of the day, when the expectation is for you to win championships and you're the person that the team is relying on to win championships. And you say, Hey man, this guy who's supposed to be my leader, but he is less important to the organization than I am. And he's not getting us there. He's not pulling his fucking weight. Get him the fuck out of here. Or guess what? I'm not pulling my weight in a way that's comfortable for me. And it's his fault. Get him the fuck out of here. And think about it. You got the perfect marriage. You take Giannis, who's now a coach killer. You pair him up with the owner, Jimmy Haslam, who's a notorious NFL coach killer. Shout out to Haslam School of Business. Um, and now, man, hey, look here, dog. What 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 that uh, white rapper say? It ain't safe for the black or the white girl. It ain't safe. It ain't safe. It ain't, it ain't safe for none of the coaches out there. That rapper, huh? I can't think of his name. I actually saw him perform, too. Is that Rocky? No. Oh, no, uh, G-Eazy. 
G Easy, yeah, he he performed with no with no chains on, and I lost respect for him because I'm an ignorant that's nigga. Not, that's not rapper like. No, nah, no, nah, we'll put some chains on, nigga. But no, nah, but I. Hey man, Adrian Griffin got fired. Apparently, he lost the locker room. He couldn't connect with the players in a way that uh, they liked it. I think that speaks to this entitled American basketball culture that we have. I think it speaks to the entitled culture that we live in. Because at the end of the day, the name of the job is to produce. And you want to produce with minimal levels of toxicity. But uh, if we're talking about people who are focused on the bottom line, they care about production. These guys were 30 and 13. Best record for a coach that's been fired in his first season. Uh, Not even his first season, his first half season. Yeah, like it's it's. This was David Blatt territory. I think it's worse. Really? Why? Less games and Giannis isn't LeBron. That's a fact. And that team had Ty Lue on the bench. So, you know, for those people who, like, have outside affairs, when you got the side chick who you really want to bump up the roster and she's right there in your face. You're a dangerous man, Lee. I, look here. That's that's not the, the world I live in. I'm just making a comparison. I know. I know. I'm just saying you, you're talking about it. So. But 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 you're but when that side chick's right there and you want to bump her up the roster, it's way easier to to open up a, a starting spot for that side chick when she's yes. right there than it is to be like, hey, hey, you, you gotta go. I don't know where I'm going from here. Even though like you've done a you, you've done a really good job, but I just want better. I deserve better. It's not giving. I want it all or nothing at all, and you're not giving me the all that I want, that I deserve. So you got to go. And, and that's what Giannis did. Like, do I think that there was a, a – Doc got hired so quickly. Do I think that there was some some understanding that, hey, here's the guy we're probably going to bring in? Yeah. But, I mean, what the fuck has Doc Rivers done since 2008 besides disappoint his team and his fan base? It's giving. <laughs> Uh, nothing, nothing to answer your question. He's um, one of the people that's lived off of a championship for far too long. And it's one of those things where you question why he continues to get these jobs. This might be the most plus job he's been given. Now, exit. Expectations are sky high. Don't get it twisted. Like he's got a lot of things that he's got to live up to. But in terms of the jobs that he's had, can you do you think that there's a better one than than these outside of when he did? I mean, was Doc was was that Doc's first year in Boston? The year they won the first year was that was that his first year as the coach? Let's pull up Wikipedia. I, I don't know why I feel like he was there. Let's just see. I don't. I'm pulling it up right now. See, Doc. No, he was no, already he, there. And that's yeah, what he, I thought. I, I thought that he had already been there. So I guess he he, he had taken. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. I know you're not watching the Lakers post game presser on League Pass. D Lo has on a, a white fishnet top with, with nothing underneath it. Sipping a uh, chilled, uh, what appears to be a coffee with some sunglasses on and some pink pants. Man, he's ready to go. Uh, be a Falcons cheerleader. Yeah, man. Send him. Send him to the A. Send Dejounte. Anyways, uh, yeah. Back to Glenn Rivers. Gosh, he doesn't even get the respect of Doc anymore, huh? He's not. Well, I mean, guy. he's the doctor that's going to fix all of Giannis's problems. So they say. Do you say it? Uh, you you know here this is when we start to watch the NBA more once football season's winding down. Of course, I watch because of you know gambling. But like, do I think I think that one of the issues that they've had, and I don't have to listen to a pun, I've just seen it. Bucks don't play any defense, and so it's kind of like, well, you've got 
Brooke Lopez, who was, I think, runner-up for DPOY last year. Giannis has won the fucking award twice now. Yeah. Um, Drew, You lost Drew Holiday, which you kind of expected from a perimeter standpoint, you were going to be losing a great defensive player. Bobby Portis, he's still a pretty solid defensive player. <laughs> um you lost Grayson Allen, who's a pest. Maybe he's not a great defensive player, but he's a pest. Like So there are a lot of different things that they were going to have to do, and then there's really not much depth. I mean, you really want to put the Nassas in. Look here, man. If, if it were up to me, he's I would a foul not. Guy. He's a guy where at the end of the half, you hack a shack and you like sub him in just to foul the guy. So he shoots the free throws. The Nassas might be the worst player in the NBA. That bad, huh? He's fucking terrible. Dennis Schroeder, not Dennis Schroeder, Dennis Smith uh, Jr. got exiled out of the NBA for a couple of years. And the Nassas wish he could lick the dirt off of fucking DSJ's cleats. Wish he could lick the dirt off of him, huh? Yeah, but, but, but fortunately, he's Giannis's brother, so he'll have a spot in this league as long as Giannis is great. Yeah, which will be for a minute. Yeah, so here's my thing, man. You know, hold on, hold on. When you just said that, it actually brought up a Twitter joke that I saw. I wish that I screenshot everything um, because I meant to actually tell you this or send it to you. Somebody said it was one of those fake NBA report pages, Uh and it said why Adrian Griffin got fired. It said that uh, Adrian Griffin uh, approached Giannis after a game, and he told him that the Nassus was committing insurance for all (laughs) – (laughs) <laughs> by having an NBA contract and that that was what pretty much the wheels of the relationship fell off when he said that it was insurance fraud <laughs> for him being in the NBA. <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, not nah, the Nassus is yeah, terrible. Sometimes. And, you know, I think that in this situation, I think Doc Rivers is the right guy. Excuse me. Doc Rivers, on paper, is the right guy for this type of job, right? You got veteran players. You're trying to, you're trying to get them to play together, blend them, get your defense better. Uh, apparently, the way that the Bucks were playing defense was not aligned with their skill sets or their desires. But I also just think that niggas don't want to play defense. Mm-hmm. So if they don't like the defense, that's more reason for them not to play it. Right. And because, you know, star players have so much power. They run the league. If they don't like something, they don't have to do it. They can request a trade. They can do whatever they want. Even if it may be what's best for the team. And I'm not saying what Adrian Griffin was doing was best for the team. And, yeah, they gave up a lot of points. But he had to make a scoring more. Let's let's ask the really tough questions. Why was Bud fired in the first place? Bud had won a title. Giannis. Giannis didn't get the card, didn't get to guard Jimmy Butler. And Jimmy cooked their ass. Yeah, because they hadn't they let's keep it a hundred. They had no business losing to the Heat. But Giannis, he had no business Giannis, in Giannis got, you remember Giannis got hurt in that game one. I remember it was a nasty spill. He missed game two. I mean but it was too late. They had already given up home court 100% because they lost game one and game two at home. And it was just too big of a hole for them to realize. And then they lost game five at home. They lost all three games at home in that series. So, and you know, I, I didn't know this until later uh, earlier today. Doc Rivers has the worst game seven win percentage in the, play, in the playoffs, obviously. Mm-hmm. And he had the worst winning percentage percentage of a coach to win coach of the year. Yeah. I, Doc Rivers is in the Illuminati. Because he keeps getting fired to better jobs. <laughs> Boston fires him. He gets to Chris Paul, Blake Griffin Clippers. I'm going to disagree in terms of him being in the Illuminati, because even though he's getting better jobs, he's still not winning. And in the Illuminati, all about winning in life. Like, well, but the Illuminati, 
personally, but he's not winning professionally. Like the Illuminati also has levels. Okay. I'm listening. He he doesn't get to talk to Jay without an appointment. Okay. Rihanna's not performing at Callie's wedding. Beyonce's not showing up. You know, you're not getting that. Right. But you know, you get to you get to still eat at the buffet. You just not at the head table. You're yeah. in the bank. But just think about it, man. Like I say, he loses the Celtics job and he gets the Clippers job. He gets the CP3 Clippers. CP3 Blake Griffin Clippers, right? The Vinny Del Negro wasn't that guy. Yeah. Vinny but, was that, but what Vinny was like the Bulls coach too, like the young, the start of Derrick Rose, like then he gets Kawhi and Paul George, and apparently what got him up out of there was game, going in the, in the game seven. He was talking about his golf swing. Uh, he had a great golf game uh, <laughs> out there in a the bubble. And the niggas is like, what are you focused on, man? Yeah. Uh, he, he, loses, he, he gets fired there straight to the, uh, the Philly, Ben Simmons Philly. And it's like, hey, man, you, you nice, young, up-and-coming team. You're the guy. Well, a team that... Doc was, was supposed to get them over the hump. Yes, exactly. They're they're here for you to take them to the next level. We know that they're a second-round team, but what about conference finals in the NBA? They're like, you, you've won one, right? And everybody... Yeah, was, no way. They're like, yeah, like Josh Harris. Like, everybody's like, yeah. <laughs> like, and then and then he, he, lo- he, he gets... Fired from that job. I don't care if he was officially fired or not. He get fu- he got fucking fired. And what does he get? He gets Giannis and Dame, a team that's already won a championship. Can this guy not be a bigger disappointment and get rewarded for disappointing? Who has been more disappointing and continue to do better? You know what I mean? And to continue to get better jobs. It, it would be like putting J Lo in a real movie. <laughs> we know she can't act. She's a singer. She's a performer, a dancer, an entertainer. But we're not gonna keep putting her. We're not gonna put her beside Matt Damon. We're not gonna put her beside, you know, Marky Mark, Mark Wahlberg. We're not gonna say, "Hey, we got this thriller." You and Tom Hanks. You know what? Fuck that. Scratch that. We want you and Zell to do a New York-based movie. We're bringing back Taken. And we've given Lim Neeson the best Botox, best drugs in the world to be his best self. Fuck that. You're not. You're thinking too small. J-Lo, we want you to be the Bond girl. (laughs) <laughs> there we go. J Lo, we want you to be Denzel's leading lady. Come on, we man. want you to play the mistress that doesn't exist. How's that sound? <laughs> like J Lo, you know what? We fired Captain Marvel. We're going Latina with it. <laughs> You're the one. Or, or better yet, uh, we got a Black Panther movie. Um, we'd love for you to crash the party, if you know what we mean. No, here, here it goes. We're, we're going to bring it down to, to, to TV, right? Yeah. We're phasing out live on SVU. And you're going to be the fucking captain of, SV, of, of, of New York SVU, NYPD SVU, Manhattan. You're going to be the face of Law and Order SVU for the next 10 years. Doesn't happen. Because her track record shows that she's Selena and she does cameos in stripper movies that I didn't watch. Well, but she she it all over. I'm on a Ja Rule record. Yeah. yeah. We're not doing that. But Doc Rivers, he gets to keep Having acting terribly and say, Hey, 
you, you, you remember you remember you remember me in a in a pursuit of happiness, right? That's what I was about to say. We've got to actually break this down. Who's somebody that had one movie that you remember like, man, they had such a good role in this movie, and then they just never did it again. <laughs> it maybe acting's hard. We can definitely do verses in like songs, I bet. But like um because that's really what he is. He did do it. He did do it. Now, granted, even if he had the best production, best screenwriter, best original. Well, that nigga's designer. Yeah. He's designer if designer kept getting looks. Nah, that's disrespectful to Doc. He is. Beans? And this isn't even a fair comparison. Imagine if Jay Electronica had a song of the year. But he hasn't. I know. Well, well, Exhibit C, everybody heralds that as like top-tier rap music. Like top-tier raps. Do you remember? He, but, but I tell you, what, it's comparable from the sense of he's lived off of that. Like, and Jay Elect can rap because anytime he hey, gets guest verse, like, oh, that makes sense. But like, I got one for you. Is he Joe Budden? Nah, man, because pump, bump, bump, bump it up. Just what? Well. But yeah, I tell you, it's similar from the sense of crazy production sound. It clearly sounded like Jay Z probably should have had the record. And like for whatever reason, Jay didn't get that record. He took it. The beat, but well, I'm just saying the beat and everything, it fit Jay Z. Like it was a Jay Z beat in the early 2000s. That well, was Def Jam. Makes sense. But you know, when no. Joe Budden can actually rap low key. Yeah, I know. And that's why I was scared to say Joe Budden three minutes ago because Joe, Joe can rap his ass. Are we saying that Doc can't coach? No. Doc can coach. We're saying that he's Doc, just not a championship coach. He's not Eric Spolstra. Yes, he can't do anything with nothing. And he got a lot of that credit, though, because of the T Mac rap magic. He got coach of the year. You remember, like, one of those years. They were like, 41 and 41. But Pat Garrity was, like, the number two option on that team. They were 41 and 41. Pat and they Garrity, won, like, 37 Pat, games a year before. Pat, Pat Garrity was, like, the number two option, and T Mac was not. 30 point T Mac before he got there, too, for what it's worth. Like T Mac had just came over from the Raptors. Like, so he was still a 15, 16 guy that everybody was like, yeah, like there's star potential, but nobody thought Hall of Fame. Like, to think of that's kind of like T Mac's Hall of Fame career is in Orlando, is it not? Yeah. He was good in Houston, but he was never healthy. So, like, his Hall of Fame career stems strictly from what he did in Orlando. Doc Rivers is a top. Gilbert Arenas player. should be in the Hall of Fame, by the way. Who? The more and more I look at it, a guy like Gilbert Arenas should be in the Hall of Fame too. If T Max in, yeah, I think so. It's just my opinion. Just I my, when I just thought about that, I'm like, whose runs were similar? I'm like, their runs were pretty fucking similar. T Max game was a little bit more appealing because he was a high flyer. Yeah, because he was like a high flyer too. But like Gilbert Arenas also was. Nasty. Steph Curry kind of before Steph Curry in a weird way. Like he was Steph Curry Dame before before Steph we liked Curry. combo guards. Yes, exactly. But he was also he was also like six well, four. He had he did have a four year run just like T Mac of straight health of like ha ah, this guy's a bucket like. And you know what? He didn't make the uh, he didn't make the Olympic team either because he's an Adidas guy, kind of like Trey. Like believed in him. Remember that's the zero commercial. Uh yeah, so Giannis is a coach killer. Doc keeps falling up. Good for him. 